Strange things are happening with Uber's destination filter. Let's talk about it. Good morning, everybody. Mark here from Uber Hints. It's kind of a chilly morning. Actually, yesterday when I started driving, it was 33 degrees, just one degree above freezing. Today is a little better. It's about 43. It just stopped raining. You can probably see a lot of the raindrops around me. I thought I'd pull over and take a few minutes and record this video because I've been noticing a strange thing happen with the destination filter. And I wanted to see if this is a pattern, if this is just a quirk that I experienced a couple times, or if you've been noticing this as well. Now I'm talking about Uber's destination filter. I do not drive for Lyft. And this is the second time I've seen this happen. So uh, the first time could be a fluke. The second time is just weird. Uh, regrettably, I was not able to catch the message it gave me, but I, I think I got the gist of it. So let me back up and tell you what happened to me yesterday. I started the day. Now, here's a map of my area, Greater Milwaukee area. And I am located to the far left of this map, west of Milwaukee. And I wanted to set my destination filter to the airport. The reason being the airport runs are really good solid runs. I can typically get, I don't know, $35 out of an airport run. So I thought this would be a good way to start the day if I can get an airport run. So I set my destination filter to the airport. And as you can see here, this is the first ride I got. And the message I got said, we have a ride, we paired you with a rider and it's going in your direction. Of course, my direction doesn't mean that it's going all the way to the airport, but we're gonna start heading in the right direction. I thought, well, if I can get on the other side of this uh, city here uh, that you see, Waukesha, it's getting me closer and closer to the airport. And still from, from where this ride dropped off to the airport would be a pretty healthy ride. So I accepted this ride and you can see the route it took me. And if you look at the percentage of uh, getting to my destination, it's what, a, maybe a fifth of the way there? Not even a quarter, I don't think. It was an $8 and 24, something like that, 28 cent ride, $8 and change. As soon as the ride ended and I closed it out, and rated my rider, a weird message popped up and I, I tried to take a snapshot of it, but I wasn't able to capture it quick enough and it disappeared. It said something to the effect of my destination filter was ending due to a lot of traffic or something like that. There was not a lot of traffic. This was um, uh, roughly eight in the morning. I think it was past the bulk of the rush hour. But regardless, so what? Since when is a destination filter incumbent upon uh, traffic? So I went to Uber's website and I downloaded this information about how the destination filter is supposed to work. And as you see, it says that, uh, I don't have it right in front of me right now, but I, I kind of recall and you can read the specific words here on the screen. It says something to the effect of the ride will take you in the direction and it's not a single ride. In other words, if it takes multiple rides to get there, it does not count that each one as a destination, right? It's the whole route. So if it takes you three, four rides to get there, your destination filter should still stay in effect. It does say you get two of them a day. And if you flip over into another day, let's say that you start your destination filter at 1150, and by uh, midnight, you have not yet arrived at your destination, that destination filter is still in effect and it doesn't count as a new destination filter for the following day. I read and I read and I looked through terms of service. Nowhere did I see where it said a destination filter would turn off or end due to uh, circumstances like heavy volume of traffic or, or things along those lines. And forgive me, I wish I would have captured 
exactly what the verbiage was, exactly what it said. But why information would pop up just on the app and not be in terms of service, not be anywhere else in the documentation, I found to be very, very strange. So I'm kind of curious, what has your experience been? Has that ever happened to you where you're on a ride that is part of your destination filter route or direction and you end and it just cuts off your destination filter? This is the second time I've had this happen to me. And in my mind, what's the point of having a destination filter? What's the point? Because as you see on this map, I had a lot more distance to go to get to my destination than that one little ride took me. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, that seems almost like a ploy to get me on the road, say, hey, we have a, a ride going your direction, and then they pull the rug out from underneath you when you have completed that ride. So you're kind of stuck in the middle of your destination. Now what? Now what? You know, it was the beginning of my day, so fortunately it wasn't that big a deal. It would have been nice to get an airport run, not that big a deal. But I'm thinking to myself, what if it was the end of my day? What if this was, uh, you know, I'm going home now for the night and I only want to accept rides that are going to go in my direction and they, they turn off my destination filter? I only have two options now. Number one, keep driving and risk going in all kinds of directions. Or number two, just turn off my app and head home and have to deadhead. Neither of those are good options. And the whole point of a destination filter is so we can drive more effectively and get to a destination. Whether that be at the start of our day, we want to go downtown to a metropolitan area, we want to go to an airport, whatever. Or if it's the end of the day, I want to head home. And by arbitrarily stopping the destination filter and denying me the destination filter, I could have turned it on again and burned my second destination filter and I would have been done before nine o'clock in the morning. My whole destination filter options would have been completely gone. And it, it, it's, it's weird. It's very, very weird. I want to hear, has that happened to you? I can't believe that this is just a freak thing and I'm the first one that's experienced this. If this is happening, we might as well not have a destination filter. Um, people have been saying, you know, that the channel's getting a little, uh, a little negative. But when stuff like this happens, when you have a company that screws with you, what am I supposed to do? Hip, hip, hooray? Um, I don't think this is a good thing. I think this was um, this was messed up. I called support. You know, they kept me on the line so long that I never got an answer. All they did is they, they kept telling me what happens with the destination filter. They kept repeating the terms of service. Finally, I just said, screw it. It's not, it's not worth it to me to find out what happened. It's not like moving forward is going to help me at all. <sighs> but it um, it was strange, and I didn't do it. But you know, now that I think about it, I'm going to go into the app. You know what it says? There were issues with this ride. I'm going to report this one, and I'm going to see if I hear back from Uber. And if I do, I'm going to do a follow up to this. I, I don't know why that didn't occur to me right away, rather than just calling in, but. I'm going to do that in the app thing. Quick update. I did go into the app. I did report the issue. Of course, it gave me a message that said, thank you for reporting this. We will not be able to respond individually. So the upshot is nothing's going to be done and nobody is going to tell me why this occurred. All right. So, um, yeah, strange, maybe an isolated incident, but I'd like to hear from you. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. Number one, has this happened to you? Number two, uh, are you figuring out why this has happened to you? Number three, what do you think I should have done? Leave those comments down below. If you're not already subscribed, click my face down there in the corner to subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, ring that bell. I guess it's up there. Ring that bell icon. So you know when I post new videos, you'll be notified and you won't have to arbitrarily check back and see. Uh, you'll get the notification. You'll know when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Mark.
from Uber Hints.